we going to do? Mini pig legs. What will we going to do? Mini pig legs. No, what will we going to do? You know where we're going. Guinea pig legs. It's not guinea pig legs. I don't know where we're going. I think it's some sort of castle, what's it called? Go to come do a calendar. Come, come on, come over here. Come over here. Come over me, please. Come over me. Castle cork. Castle cork. Castle cork. Yeah. Country. Because this is in Welsh. Yeah. That will be red castle. So we're going to castle cork, can't we? A bit of some disgusting wear about right there, Luigi. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. <laughs> Look at these. Five, eight, eight, seven, zero, and four. That's pretty short. Okay, I can go. Because that way the handle won't get in your way then if you watch it from over here. That was a good bit, I saw it. <laughs> oh, it's not in use. I do not want to get up. Just look at all the softness. Oh. Oh, once again, I think there might be another room. Go place to explore. Yeah. Yeah. Water. 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 Oh yeah, that's what happens hunting, they hunt foxes. Horses and all the dogs. Fireplace. Fire my little Here's the reveal. Mmm. So they are. Let's start from me. Start from Arch and angel angels. Archangels. 
the Archangels, Yuria, Michael and Shamil. And we've got the Archangels, Gabriel and Jophia. Saint Robotis. Saint Jubricious. Saint David but isn't on. Saint David's not there. Saint Paul. Saint Paul. Saint Andrew. Saint John the Baptist. Saint Ninian. Saint Glumba. And Saint Winifred. Yeah. We've got our camera so we cannot sit so we cannot do come and open it. What? This is amazing! Sorry. <coughs> There's some seats over here. There's some different seat areas. Yay! Whoa! Animated! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight! Whey! They're all animated. So, what does it say? Pineapple Pudding upside dessert. down cake. Pudding dessert. Pudding dessert. Yeah. You're learning some Welsh at the. You're learning some Welsh at the same time. Mmm. Looks tasty. Some of them look tasty. Oh, end of the meal. So you can watch the whole thing from the start again now, then. So entry, entry. starter. So what is that? <laughs> Sweet, Sweet bread, bread and peas with eggs and spinach. spinach. So here's the sweet bread. Oh, there's the eggs and the spinach. Oh, oh, there it goes on the plate. Oh, the fish falls. So this is cod head and cod head and soldiers. Okay. Oh, here comes the cod. Oh. Clever. <laughs> There you go, there's the pot. Oh, this is head in the shoulders. Take off his ears. It's gonna get eaten anyway. Oh, a bit of lemon. So sour. Lemon. Oh, and now here's the main course. Main course. Oh, so what's this? Roast leg of mutton with carrots, bitchy and roasted pasta. <laughs> mutton is it's like an oldish, it's, like, it's not a lamb, it's an oldish. So there's the pasta <coughs> and the carrot. <laughs> that was a boob you did earlier. Pasta. You did not pasta. And the pudding is a dessert. So this is pineapple upside down cake, isn't it? I believe so, yeah. Pineapple upside down cake. The dessert. Come on. You can call them. Oh, there's the you pineapple. Exploding castle or not? Yeah, yeah. we're watching this video, darling. And, and you're oh. doing it on video. And there it is with some cream. Okay, so here they go. What? They're eating the starter. Wet. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're eating the main course. They're eating the dessert. And then washing up. And then one big burp. Lady Margaret bedroom. Nope. Yeah, that's more like it. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Ooh. Oh, what's this? What's this? Whoa. 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 <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Okay, I'm looking at the saving app. Yeah, 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 yeah
Das könnte ich Well, that's good. Well, they look like sort of little balcony bricks, don't they? Kind of... Yeah, yeah. So then, I don't know where I'm Maybe we throw the olden days. Yeah. Follow the arrows. Follow the arrow, arrow, arrows. Follow the arrow, arrow, arrows. Here's an arrow! What's that? How will we fix the problem? I know. Thank you for visiting. Yeah. Now all we have to walk all the way along. Okay. Yeah, but that is not it. We are going to walk around the main castle, guys. Yeah. Yeah. See you again. No. See you again. We've already been in there, yeah. remember? Right. We have to go back along this way. We have to go all the way back along. I'm doing that animated stuff, remember guys? Remember from a few, uh, a lot of minutes ago? Thank you for calling, your call is now moderated. I'm not going to be doing that. animated plates there mm -hmm. and here's where we go down properly Welcome to Castelcoch. Castelcoch is a mixture of medieval masonry and Victorian fantasy. The castle was originally built by Anglo-Norman rulers in medieval times to control their lands. It fell into ruins during the 14th century and so it remained until 1875 
when the third Marquis of Butte employed the architect William Burgess to restore the castle on medieval lines and decorate it in Victorian Gothic style. Lord Butte had inherited a fortune from the industrial growth of South Wales, which he used in following his interests in architecture, astrology, theology, languages, medieval symbolism and mythology. He shared many of these interests with Burgess, although the two were very different in character. Butte was serious and reserved, Burgess was jaunty and sociable. Butte first employed Burgess to remodel Cardiff Castle as his main Welsh home. While this was going on, Butte decided to rebuild Castellcourt and Burgess, with his medieval learning and knowledge of the castles of Europe, was the perfect architect for the job. Burgess produced a detailed historical and archaeological report, with the original stonework as the foundation for the building. He produced a 13th century design, but one that didn't necessarily use medieval construction methods. Burgess would also sometimes combine his research with guesswork. He admitted, for example, that the high-pitched roofs of Castellcourt provided more accommodation and were more attractive than the originals would have been. Unfortunately, Burgess died in 1881, before the interior decoration and furnishing were finished. It was left to his team of assistants and craftsmen to interpret his plans and complete the fitting out of the castle. Castellcourt was subsequently used occasionally as a summer home by the Butte family, before being handed over to the state in 1950. It is now looked after by CADU, the Historic Environment Service of the Welsh Assembly Government. These are different Lady Margaret's bedroom. This nursery was created for Lady Margaret, the eldest of Lord Butte's children. But in later years, it was sometimes used as an isolation room for family members with infectious diseases. In Victorian times, childhood illnesses such as whooping cough or measles could be fatal. The furniture is based on medieval designs and painted cream. The room was originally open to the roof of the kitchen tower, but was changed to incorporate a room for a nanny in the attic above. Now I do it Turn to map. Turn to map. And the next one, banqueting hall. The banqueting hall. The banqueting hall at Castellcourt is a recreation of a medieval great hall, which was the main room for entertaining guests. It is the only room at Castellcourt to have been decorated and furnished by Burgess before his death and is in the Gothic revival style that he favoured, with lots of stenciling and red as the predominant colour. The stenciling around the walls copies the medieval practice of using rectangular patterns to give the impression that the walls were made of smooth blocks of stone. Here, the stenciling has been designed to leave space for the portraits of Lady Butte's ancestors. Lord Butte's religious beliefs are reflected in the decorative theme of the banqueting hall. He had become a Catholic when he was a young man and believed that medieval art and architecture represented the old Catholic England. The two large murals at either end feature the lives of the early English saints, Lucius and his sister Emerita. Return to the imposing. Map. Well, we don't finish Let's... listening to what he had to say then. Drawing room. The drawing room. Unlike the banqueting hall, the drawing room has no medieval equivalent. It is pure Victorian creation. In his original design, Burgess had planned that this space would be occupied by two rooms, one above the other. His subsequent decision to make it one room with a minstrel's gallery and vaulted yeah, ceiling minstrel above gallery, yeah. allowed him, in his own words, to indulge in a little more ornament. However, although Burgess created the concept for this room and agreed the decorative scheme, much of it was carried out after his death. The decorations here are based on the natural world, 
starting on earth with the highly detailed paintings of plants on the lower panelling, followed by the murals yeah, of animals so and plants. birds, and up to the blue dome of the sky. Then we've got animals and birds in the sky. Lord Butte's bedroom. Bedroom. In the original plans for Castell Koch, Lord Butte's room was going to be directly over the drawing room. But when the ceiling was raised to include the gallery and vault, it was moved to this position over the gateway. From here, Lord Butte could see both the approach to the castle and the courtyard. A great advantage for a man with a reserved nature. The relative plainness of the room, especially compared with the highly decorated drawing room, is also in keeping with his character. The fireplace and the bed are the most ornate items in the room. I'm turning to Matt. Lady Butte's bedroom. Lady Butte's bedroom. This room was not completed until 10 years after Burgess's death, but it follows his original concept outlined in drawings and a model of the room made so that Lady Butte could approve the scheme. The gold and mirrored dome of the ceiling has an Arabic feel, mm -hmm. a style with which Burgess was familiar following his travels to that part of the world when he was younger. The panels of the dome are painted with monkeys, monkeys pomegranates and nesting birds, monkeys? symbols oh, for romantic love birds. and procreation. Oh, there we go. They're symbols On the of chimney love piece is another symbol of love, that of the winged psyche, a figure from Greek mythology. She holds a shield in the shape of a heart, decorated with the heraldic arms of Lord and Lady Butte, signifying the coming together of their two families through marriage. He, he reads it all again. Well, no, it's another page, Harry. It was a second page. Yeah, we done? What's next that we have not explored? <laughs> Be careful coming down here. Down we go, guys. Be careful. In. No, into a job is palace. <laughs> what? What are you so excited about? What is? Jesus, there's a handrail here. Do you want Louise's mercy free? Pop them into the other hand. There we go. A, a what? A perfect smell. From 1877 to 1920, Castle Koch, sunny south-facing slopes were home to one of Lord Butte's three Welsh vineyards. They were the only commercial British vineyards of the time and were forerunners on the revival of Welsh and England's vineyards after World War II. Yes, yes, Oh, this is where the wine was kept. A medieval root of a Victorian castle. What? They're not being great, though. Yeah. They're just picks of grapes before you start eating. Mmm. That's so... Uh, oh. Come on. Mmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Whatever comes down, comes up. Isn't that right? Who's that clip clopping over my bridge? Yeah! Come on then. You did the biggest boob in the world. 
water. I was, <gasps> I spent about two minutes in here. Great, look at cat heat. <laughs> it's been three minutes, let's go! You look bored. Oh. Oh. Are you bored? Yeah. I need a cat. Okay. I need a fire. I need something to go in my bag. <coughs> okay. It'd be my only baby food. Or did he have his lunch and he's not hungry? I'm hungry. No, you're not. Yes, no, you're not. Yes, no, you're not. Yes, no, you're not. Yes, no, you're not. There you go, milky. Yep, 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 yep. Hey. I'm tired. Can I go to sleep? What a lovely day we had. Yeah, right. It was amazing. What was your favourite part, Bay Mario? What was your favourite part, Bay Mario? The rooms. I just saw the rooms. Same, same. What was your favourite part of the plushies? What? Let's go back to the car together. Down there. Go on, this is the car park, okay? So, mm -hmm. you want to do good? Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 How on earth have you got down that hill? <laughs> what was you thinking? Like, well, I think we're way up there. How do we Yeah, we, we went over there so way, didn't we? We were up there. How did we got down? Yeah, we were over there. We could see it. it How could we get down there anyway? How on earth have we got down? Let's go, guys! Let's go! Oh, 
ha. Thanks for watching this video. Bye bye. <laughs>